So now we're going to talk more specifically about rapid scale, what our differentiator, differentiators are, and you know what the value proposition is to your customers. Now this is a long laundry list, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're really going to touch on right now are the core around our belief system and management. So when we talk about managing the cloud, we've talked about the hyperscalers today, where the hyperscalers are literally doing everything for their customers. We've talked about MSPs today, where MSPs are doing a lot of outsourced work for the customers, doing, doing a heavy lifting load. And we talked about internal IT companies, internal IT to companies, who are doing everything, them, everything themselves. Well, Rapid Scale has a three-pronged approach to this. So over here we have what we call self-managed or do-it-yourself, where we look a lot like the hypervisors, right? So the customer is responsible for the majority of this, pretty much all of it, and all Rapid Scale is doing is giving them the platform, right? So this is RS. Customers doing all the work around all of the applications, patching, updating, etc. Over here, we've got the exact opposite, where in this pie, this is our fully managed pie, Rapid Skill is literally doing everything for the customer, complete and utter management, and all the customer is doing is keeping the relationship in place with Rapid Scale. Right? So Rapid Scale is doing everything over here. The hybrid managed or co-managed is where the majority of our customers live and breathe. Now what you can think about here is rapid scale and the customer have taken this pie and they've divided this pie up into a bunch of different slots that are going to be working like here would be backups, right? This is a backup slice of the pie. Customer may say, rapid scale, I want you to handle that. This is going to be the patching and updating. And the customer may say, rapid scale, I want you to handle that. Customer could also say, management and monitoring. Rapid scale, you're handling that as well for us. The customer is going to come in and say, but you know what we'll handle? We'll take care of all of our databases. We, we don't want you handling those. We just want you to host them. And we'll take care of all of our application servers. Again, don't want you to handle those. We'll take care of the applications. We'll work up the cloud. We'll work up the stack. And additionally, the customer could say, we will have rapid scale handle tier one help desk. And we'll take tier two here at rapid scale. Now, the key and a big differentiation for us on this is in these models, one of the things that makes us different than our competition is we will literally give them the keys to the kingdom here, guys. We will tell the customer, doesn't matter if we're doing most of this work for you, you know, you still have access to everything and you have the keys to the kingdom. Meaning you can go in and do anything you'd like to do inside of this environment or you can hand it off to us and ask us to do it. We have very clear lines of delineation when we're doing this with our clients today to ensure that we know where responsibilities start and stop for both them and us. Now, in looking at these three different management models, you might wonder, why would they ever come over to us if they were doing like the hyperscalers, right? This gets into our, our performance metrics and the way we built our cloud stacks out, right? We talked about how the hyperscalers go outward when they need to grow. They just add more and more servers. Well, rapid scale adds more resources to the servers for the clients to give them what they need, helping to keep the costs under control. So that's a good piece to remember. Additionally, when we're looking at these two, the managed and the hybrid managed, I forgot to put fully managed here, fully managed. Um, when we're looking at these two environments, I know this sounds cliche, but we have white glove service going on here, guys. This is, this is something we're really proud of. Rapid scale over the last three years, we've had a churn rate, customer attrition rate of less than 1%. We have customer satisfaction scores into the mid 90s, which we're really happy with, 95.7 on average for three years. And then we have, we're one of the first cloud companies coming out and utilizing NPS scores, right? 
So today our NPS score is hovering over the last month between 80 and 85. And that's phenomenal. That's in the likes of really great technology companies like Apple. So we talked a little bit today about what makes us different. Hopefully you've got these. Thank you and we'll see you soon.